What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back with another Tekken 8 rant video. Now, I actually thought about not doing a video review or rant or pure thought on Leo. But you know what? I'm not really the type of person to just to hold shit in. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video and say what I got to say about this stupid character. And first of all, I got to say I'm very surprised that this character was the first character that was shown for the new trailers after Reyna was shown. Uh, Harada and the team didn't do this character no justice by showing uh, Leo after Reyna. That was no justice at all. But, you know, y'all already know how it is. People gonna be out there, be like, oh my God, that's sick. You know, this is the same fucking shit. And then my thing is this, like, I'm not the type of person, like, I don't do reviews for every fucking single character trailer. You know, I've skipped some here and there because, you know, I ain't trying to do all that. I ain't trying to do all that. But I had to come on here and... and let off some steam about this fucking character Leo and I've been saying it in the last couple of videos about Leo and how I just kind of feel like if you look at the whole base roster Leo is one of those characters like a couple of other characters that is truly out of place but Leo is clearly like irrelevant like Leo is just there for being fucking there like have y'all noticed something with this character every single Tekken game it's like the the, the plot is different with Leo so whatever happened to the whole Yoshimitsu thing so they just said fuck that you feel what I'm saying like what are they doing now this character is beefing with Azuzina or whatever like what are they doing with this character like what are they doing what is up with this character? What does what does this character want? You feel what I'm saying? What does Leo want? Please tell me in the comment section what the fuck does this character want in the King of Iron Fist? Because to be quite honest with you, I don't understand. This character is stupid. I never liked this character. And y'all can go back three, four years of videos I've been saying I don't like this character. As a matter of fact, y'all see this thumbnail right here? If y'all check out this video right here, I did a long time ago before motherfuckers was even doing Tekken 8 content. I made this video and Leo was one of the characters that I said I did not want in Tekken 8 because of the shit that I'm about to explain right now. Number one, I don't want Leo in Tekken 8 because I'm a look. I don't like Leo's play style. I don't like the fucking play style. I understand Leo is a Baji Chuan expert, but I don't like it on him. Yeah, that's right. I said it him. Y'all motherfuckers come correct me in the comment section all y'all want to. It's him. It's a him. Leo is a him, motherfuckers. So even if y'all come and correct me, shit, y'all can't correct the video. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm a savage motherfucker, man. But yeah, Leo is a guy. Yeah, Leo is a guy. Yep. But uh, like I said... The play style, I just don't like Leo's play style. I don't like the play style. I don't like the gameplay. I think the character is clearly kind of fluckery, just kind of made up to a certain extent. I don't like Leo's combos. I don't like the shit that this character does. And I damn sure don't like it in Tekken 8. And I'm going to go on record by saying, look, I'm going to tell y'all something. That motherfucking rage art. That had to have been like the dumbest rage art I've ever fucking seen. Leo's rage art is fucking pathetic. Is that the best errata in this team could come up with with this character? Considering the fact where that fucking rage art came from? Y'all motherfuckers know where that rage art came from. If y'all are a true fighting game fan, y'all would know that rage art was literally copied from King of Fighters. It was literally copied from King of Fighters. There wasn't even no exaggeration. There wasn't even no exaggeration. They got that shit from Whip from King of Fighters. King J already exposed it. And if I wasn't at work, I would expose the shit my damn self. But I came home late and motherfuckers already exposed it. So fuck it. I mean, come on, man. See, this, this is that type of shit. This is that type of shit. I keep telling y'all, Harada is not the creative genius y'all think he is. I mean, he literally took that shit from KOF. Now, I'm going to get somebody in the comment section. Well, you know, Harada is friends with Oda and Ono, and I don't give a fuck. I mean, damn, Ono and Oda, they create things. Harada don't do such a good job at that shit. I'm just being serious. 
Why is it all the time we see a, a fucking Tekken character do something exactly the same as some other character from some other fighting game? I'm just saying. We seeing this shit here. And we seeing it with Leo. And that's a loss of fucking points. Now fucking Rage Art fucking stupid. The exact same. No exaggeration. That's a loss of fucking points. And I, and I, and I hope, I hope to God people don't think that shit was cool. Because it wasn't. It's the same thing I said about Warong when Warong's trailer came out damn near like last year. And I kind of noticed that's the same fucking rage art that uh, Kim Kapwan student had. I just can't remember the motherfucker's name. He had two students in Gauryu, Mark of the Wolves. The first student is the same rage art. The same super move. Kim Kapwan's first student. Shout out to my boy Swinging Nonchucks. He a KOF expert. He know what I'm fucking talking about. Warong's rage art is just the fucking same. So it's a lot of copying going on right now. I ain't feeling it. Harada, take your Ray Charles glasses off and get creative, motherfucker. Because I'm going to say it again. Even though Ed Boon is on some fucked up shit, if Ed Boon would have did some shit like that, y'all would have killed his ass. But Harada gets to copy people. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here with that shit. This is a loss of points right here. A copied ass super move? Man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get somebody in the comment section. Well, you know, KOF copy Street Fighter and all. Uh, nah, uh, no, 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 no. So, so? So? Those are 2D fighting games. This is a 3D fighting game. So get that shit out of here. I don't want to hear it. Shit. A power wave is different from a Hadouken. So I don't want to hear that shit. So that's a loss of massive points right here. So uh, Leo is woo. Man, I'm telling you, man, if this was that, if, if I was that channel, I know y'all know that channel, uh, Gaming Sins, I'm telling you, Leo would be like minus a thousand points right now. I'll be like Gaming Sins. Oh, that's minus 30 points. <laughs> Girl, Leo sucks right now. This character fucking sucks right now. I'm telling you, man. I, there's When I was looking at that trailer, man, I was looking at that trailer with my eyes rolled up. I'm just like, man, get this shit out of here. Ain't, ain't Get it out of here. Get this fucking shit out of here. And I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. That's the reason why this rage art, when I seen this shit, it's the main reason why I was like, man, fuck it. I'm about to cook this damn character. Because I honestly wasn't even going to fuck with it. Because I was like, fuck Leo. I'm not about to do a video on Leo. I ain't about to do a video on him. But when I saw that rage art, now I'm about to cook this fucking character. And I'm going to burn him on the grill. For real. Man, come on, man. I know y'all motherfuckers out there thought, oh my god, that is so sick, man. Get out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. That rage art was so fucking corny, man. That was so fucking corny, man. That was corny as fuck, man. I swear to God, that rage art just did this character serious injustice. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. And I don't like the character's voice either. I swear to God, I don't. I don't like this character's voice, man. I don't like this character. I don't. And I've been saying it. I don't like this character because I feel like, number one, this character is a fucking carbon copy of Leon from Virtua Fighter. The only difference is, is this stupid bullshit gender crap that's going on with this character. You know what I'm saying? We don't need this shit in a fucking fighting game. All of this fucking gender controversy. We don't need this shit in fucking fighting games. Just pick up the character and play. Everybody worried about, no, Leo's a man. Leo's a woman. Man, fuck Leo, man. Man, fuck that controversy, man. Stupid ass character. What kind of fucking character causes controversy like that? The only other character that I know that did that shit was Poison from Final Fight. And that was only because the fans made that shit up. Now you got it with this stupid character. True. That's all you hear people talk about when they talk about this character. They don't talk about no tutorials. They don't talk about no strategy. They don't talk about strength and weakness when it comes to this stupid character. You go on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. They talking about this character's so-called fucking gender. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. 
You know what? I'ma backtrack on something. Now I know why they showed this character's trailer so early, right after Reyna. Because they know what nobody fucking talking about the character. Nobody was talking about Leo. I mean, damn, y'all already know how I feel about Shaheen. At least people were talking about Shaheen. Well, nobody talking about Leo. Leo was just there. And while we getting on Shaheen, they probably going to show his trailer next. And I, I ain't going to fuck with it because, you know, I already put my thoughts down about Shaheen. I already got his ass. I already cooked his ass. But this motherfucker right here, Leo, this trailer, this trailer is a 0 0.5 out of 10. Get this bullshit out of here. Bullshit. I don't care what nobody say. 0 0.5 out of 10. That's the honest grade. That's the honest grade with this character, man. Ain't shit going on with this character. None of that shit was interesting. None of it. Absolutely none of it. This character's heat game, trash as fuck. I barely even saw anything. And then on top of that, the trailer was only, what, like two minutes? Like the average trailer been at least three and a half minutes. They, they didn't even, man, get out of here, man. Get out of here. This character ain't got man, this character ain't got shit. I'm not interested in this character's story. I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, it said it's uh Leo after Kazuya. How many fucking Tekken games has they said that? And what the fuck has happened? It's a different fucking plot every single time. So I don't give a fuck about this character's bio. This character sucks, man. For real. I mean, if you look at this character, you can't get excited at all. There's no hype, no excitement. Just look at the character. There's nothing with this character. No hype, no excitement, no enthusiasm, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm dead serious. I'm like, this character is damn, this character damn near worse than Shaheen. The only difference is Leo just been on more Tekken games. I'm telling you, Leo did not deserve to be on the base roster. If this character was not on the base roster, nobody would have cared. Nobody would have said, hey, where's Leo? Nobody would have done that. Now, does this character have the following? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This character got a little bit of a following out there. But guess what? If this character was not on the base roster, no one would have noticed. No one would have been like, where's Leo? No one would have noticed. Leo is kind of like a, a season three DLC. Clearly, Eddie could have got that fucking spot. Yeah, I'm going there. There's a lot of characters Eddie could have bumped. And Leo, one of them. This uninteresting ass fucking character. This character is so uninteresting. I'm, I'm having a hard time cooking this mother. <laughs> I'm having a hard time roasting this damn character. Look at the character. The character looks dead. The character just looks straight dead, look drowsy, and just bad design. Fucked up design. And like I said, this character is a fucking carbon copy of Leon from Virtua Fighter. And Harada knows it. I would never use this character. I'm gonna fuck if this character is a Baji Chuan expert. Never use this character. Leo can get a big, man, like I said, Leo can get a big middle finger. As a matter of fact, he can get two of them. He can get the whole Stone Cold salute. That's how I feel about Leo. Don't deserve to be on the base roster at all. Boy, boy, boy. Man, this motherfucking character got me shitty, boy. This character got me fucking shitty. I'm think it ain't even, I'm thinking about Eddie. I'm thinking about all these other characters. Eddie, Lay, Anna. And I got to look at this dense ass character. This uninteresting ass character. Like if, okay, even if it was Lei Wu Long, I would have been like, oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay, even though, you know, I still think Lay is super cheap, but I'm like, damn, it, there would have been some enthusiasm. There would have been a little bit of excitement there if that was Lay. But Leo, man, get this character out of here, man. Like I said, man, th this character, mm -mm, get him out. Get this character out of here. Get this character out of here. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, this character is going to be at the bottom of the usage rate when Tekken 8 comes out. Ain't nobody going to use this character but the following that this character has, and that ain't going to pan out well. This character is going to be at the bottom of the usage. And another thing, too, look, y'all got to stop calling every single Tekken character a legacy character. I'm seeing him. Like, Leo's a legacy character. No, he's not. Y'all motherfuckers know damn well Leo ain't no legacy character. 
Come on, y'all motherfuckers in the Tekken community gotta stop doing that. Y'all, every single character can't be a legacy character. It don't work that way. Leo, damn sure ain't no legacy character. Absolutely not. Please stop doing that shit. This is not a legacy character. No. Not with the controversy that this character brings. No. This character will never be a legacy character. Ever. With that bullshit controversy. That's all I got to say about this stupid ass character. For real. Like I said. 0 0.5 out of 10. Leo can kick fucking rocks. And as I've said in previous videos. The main trailers that I'm looking for. I'm looking for Dragon Off. And Steve Fox. Maybe Zafina, even though I've already given my thoughts about Zafina, but I am still looking for her exclusive trailer. But uh, this shit right here was exactly that. Shit. That's exactly that. This was shit. As a matter of fact, it was bullshit. Fuck Leo. So let me know what y'all think about Leo in the comment section below. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Go ahead and say what's on y'all minds. Go ahead and correct me in the comment section, dog. You're wrong. Leo is a girl. So what? Still is going to be a 0 0.5 out of 10? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> For real. That ain't going to matter. My grade is going to stay the same. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 and Tekken 7 action on the internet period. Like I said, I don't hold shit back. I don't. And ain't nobody doing it like I'm doing it when it comes to this Tekken shit. Nobody. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving. Shout out to all of y'all. Much love to all of y'all. I hope y'all doing well with y'all families, loved ones, and friends. And I got to get to my ham. And I hope y'all get to y'all dinners and have a great time. I am out. Peace. Thank you.